Here I am just sitting around playing some casual keyboards and trying to come up with something good that can be a song. Like I think many of us do out there. And you know, suddenly you just come up with something that, yeah. Ah, that's good. I want to make a song out of that. And previously, before Live 10, you would probably go into live and try to find the tempo and put on the metronome and hitting a record and then trying to play the same thing once again. But now all we have to do is press the magic capture button. Isn't that sweet? Not only that live listens to what you're doing and remembers it, but if it's the first clip of your session, it also tries to figure out what tempo you played in and where the first beat of the bar is. And well, I think it's really cool. Um, but now for the main topic of this video, I'm one of those who can easily add way too much stuff to my music. And you know, you hear a thing in your head and you put it in there and then you hear another thing and you record that and things quickly become a mess. So I will show you a little trick how to keep myself from doing that. I will create the fundamental elements for my song, for my track, using only this MIDI clip. So I will create some drums and some bass and some chords and maybe something more using this idea that I play on the keyboard which means in a sense that I won't add anything new. I would just change what instruments that plays this thing. Um, well, I will show you what I mean. Uh, I have this little habit first of copying this. Let's put some color on that. Uh, so I have my first recording back up if I want to go back and do something else with it before I start messing around. And now here's my keyboard. Let's crop this clip to just the last idea here. And um, maybe you want to do something first with this. Maybe you didn't play it tight enough or something. <laughs> so I think um, I will quantize this and um, I play some sort of triplet subdivision and I don't want it to be quantized 100% I want to keep something of my keyboard playing so maybe 50% Okay, that feels good. Now, let's do some drums and some bass and some chords and maybe something else using only this MIDI clip now. So, uh, some sort of drums on a new track. And copy this clip to the drums. And this looks maybe a little bit weird. Um, well, this is my keyboard recording of my piano, and these are the drums in the drum rack. But what I will do now is I will click Control A or Command A if you're on a Mac, and I will press zero so I deactivate all the notes, and then I will well choose a number of them and move them. To, well, let's start with the kick and these maybe and that one and then activate those. So what do we have now? So 
So, of course, now the kick plays along with my left hand on the piano. So let's do a snare. What about taking these and moving them down? And, well, one like so, and activate. You get the idea. Now let's stop the piano for a minute. And um, I will think I will duplicate that clip. So I have one without hi-hat and now let's do one with hi-hat. So let's just choose the number of notes and bring them down. Fill in the gaps with the random notes. Let's see what this sounds like. Activate the hi-hats. Okay, I'll remove that kick, so I just activate that one and that snare. And then this hi hat didn't sound very good. Mm, so I think I will take one of, the, one of the kicks and do to another hi hat, like so. And I could change this to an. Open hi hat. Okay, I'll keep that for now. Let's do some sort of bass. Um, <laughs> Shall we do some little aggressive music today? Copy the piano recording to the bass. And the bass will of course not play this. So I will select all the notes and deactivate them and then pick what notes I want. And <clears throat> Let's do it simple. At first I'll just choose the lowest notes and activate those and see what it sounds like. Maybe make them a little bit longer. Yeah, that's cool. And then you can do all sorts of stuff, of course. I can do this one with an octave. That will sound... Okay, I don't know. This one as well. So, now we have some drums and we have some bass. And I guess you're starting to get the idea now. So, shall we do some chords now? Okay, let's try something like that. Mm, like so. And bring our piano recording in. Select all the notes and deactivate. Um, well, let's just do this simple. I'll take all these chords that I played in my right hand and let this synth sound play them. Let's listen to that. Maybe one octave higher. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's add a melody also. Mm, some sort of synth sound. What shall we do? Mm. 
Okay. And how do we do a melody? Well, let's select all the notes and deactivate them. And then just in some semi random fashion activate notes. See what we will have. Mm -hmm. I just activate some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's uh, try. So, I got some sort of basic idea for a song down and I only used that first media clip that I captured from my keyboard. And about now maybe I will start adding some more stuff and so, but the main goal of this exercise is to at least at first keep focus on that one good idea that you had. And in a sense I haven't added anything new, I've just changed what instruments that play my idea that I had on my keyboard. So I hope this was inspiring and I hope your music will be beautiful, your creativity flowing and your Ableton live. Bye!